The question is, why are so many people failing maths? Well, it's not a problem for these girls who studied at King's Hospital School in Dublin. They did really well in maths and the science subjects, but say many students chase the points in other subjects, believing they are easier to get. Like geography, you can learn off essays and go in with them, whereas for like physics and biology, it's all questions. And if you don't have like a deeper knowledge of that from learning it in school, like you're not going to be able to answer the questions. Concern has been expressed about failure rates in the science subjects and also accounting, higher level business and economics. Award winning teacher Noel Cunningham uses the internet to share ideas with other teachers around the world in an effort to make science more interesting for students. To a large extent when I qualify as a teacher I can close that door and for 40 years not know how other teachers teach the subject I'm teaching. Uh, there should be an onus on all of us to see what best practice is elsewhere uh, both nationally and internationally. So I suppose one of the things I do is I would have a lot of my videos of my classes up on YouTube. Last year Ireland was ranked a miserable 26th out of 34 OECD countries in terms of mathematical literacy and was described as well below average. Unfortunately it would seem that not much has changed. 4,367 students have failed maths across all levels making them ineligible for many third level courses. There are 600 US companies in Ireland. They are pointing to a lack of science graduates. Over 100 of our member companies have 2,000 jobs vacant currently at, at, this, at this moment in time. Now 30% of those jobs, they were actually having difficulty in filling those positions. There are calls for a total overhaul of the Leaving Cert amid claims that there should be a greater focus on skills that make an individual more employable. We're thinking in terms of communication, teamwork, and most of all, an appetite for learning because what we can be certain for when people come into the workplace they have to keep learning. The minister responsible says he is going to reform the Leaving Cert but the entire process will take up to eight years. In the meantime we have to re-examine the way in which points are allocated. Now the department doesn't make that decision. The, the allocation of points for subjects is decided by the universities and the higher education institutions. The minister has urged those who may be disappointed today to consider the option of resitting the exam next year. Jerome Hughes, TV3 News.